Um, hi, I'm Hayley and I'm going to make a video for Outside Lives. Um, I'm hoping to show you how to make kombucha. And the first thing that you need to do to make kombucha is use dechlorinated water. So I'll explain a little bit more about the kombucha later. Um, and that led me to thinking about recent travels I've been on. I've been to India and I've been to New Zealand. Um, I spent three months in India and then three months cycle touring in New Zealand, living off a bike. And I didn't buy a single bottle of water in India. It's a big problem when people go to India, they think, oh, I'm going to get deli belly, I'm going to get diarrhea, I'm going to be sick. Um, so people tend to buy bottled water to make sure they don't get poorly. Um, I use this, it's called the Steri Pen. And not many people had heard of it, so I thought I would show you. Um, and you could take this on a walk in this country if you were going for a long hike. Um, I used it when I was cycle touring as well. So this is the Steri Pen Adventure. You can get different styles. Um, so basically, what it does is it uses germicide or UV lights to kill 99.9999% of bacteria, 99.99% of viruses, and it also kills Giardia and Cryptosporidium. So they're both um, diseases that cause diarrhea, and you can catch it from animal feces. So say if you drank from a river and something had pooed in the river upstream, then you could get ill from that. Um, so this, this does the job, and I'm happy to say that in India, I didn't have diarrhea once. I actually got constipated. <laughs> so there we go. Um, so this is how it works. Um, with the pen, it can do 8,000 treatments, so it can treat 8,000 litres of water. And you can get your water from a tap. Okay, so that's probably about a litre there, do you reckon? There's a jug in there. Oh, well. It's probably about a litre. Um, one thing that I did have to be careful of is obviously this doesn't get rid of um, any heavy metals, so it doesn't get rid of anything like lead, and that can build up in your body and cause problems with your nervous system. So you still need to think about where you're getting your water from. A river would be quite sensible in India, um, but not necessarily a tank off a train. That, would, that might be a bad idea. Um, okay, so with your litre of water, you put the pen in. If you've got a litre, it's one press, I think. If it's uh, half a litre, it's two, I can't remember. Um, so basically, you stick the pen in, press the button, and then it starts to flash on the front. And when it's flashing, you just stir, and it takes about... Does it matter? You see it's flashing. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So um, it takes about 90 seconds to do one litre of water, I think it was 48 seconds for half a litre. So you can, you can get your drinking water quite quickly. You can also get these steri pens with filter attachments to filter out any, any bits in the water. So if you're really drinking from a, a dirty like lake or something like that, you might want the filter as well to get rid of any bits. Um, so yeah, you keep on stirring. And then at the end, when it's finished, there's um, a little sensor here, and it'll flash green or red. If you haven't done it properly, if it hasn't been submerged properly, the pen can sense that, and it'll flash red to say that you have to do it again. If it's green, it means that the water's safe to drink. So, yeah, I drank out of waters in India. I've done it in Scotland. Not that you really need to kill anything in Scotland, but you never know. There might be an animal um, further up or a person having a wee or whatever they're doing in the water. Um, so... Take spare batteries if you do decide to go on a long journey with this. I, did, I forgot to do that in New Zealand, but luckily I was okay. I didn't need to change the batteries. I think the batteries last for about 100 treatments. Um, and then the bulb itself has got a limited lifetime of 8,000 treatments. But SteriPen say that as long as you know the bulb's not smashed, as long as it's still in good working order. Well, there you go, so that's flash red now. Can you see it? Can you see that? Yeah. So that means um, that I haven't treated it properly, so I wasn't stirring enough, and the sensor knows that um, I haven't done it properly, so I'd have to do that again before I drank it. Um, so, what was I waffling on about? Oh yeah, so you get 8,000 treatments, and then the bulb's finished, after that it won't work anymore. Uh, so you send it back, and then they'll replace the pen. So even if it's like in 10 years' time, if they've got a new updated model, they'll send you that. I think it cost me around about £40. But if you think, you know, every time you buy a bottle of water, you know, 
it all adds up, doesn't it? So I, I definitely recommend that if you're going travelling or doing a long hike. It's not that heavy. You can get super light ones for about £100. Um, so that's the Steri pen. I bought one of these for getting rid of the chlorine in water to make kombucha. So I think it was about five off the internet. It's got um, different um, substances in each one that removes the chlorine. I think the main part of it is the charcoal at the bottom. So you just like, attach that to your kitchen sink. Um, you can use that. Some people use um, like a Brita filter jug, that type of style of thing to get rid of chlorine. Um, but yeah, so that was pretty cheap and cheerful. I couldn't find any local shops that stock it. If you can find it, maybe share it with Outside Life. So I did have to buy that one off the internet. And again, with a Steri pen, I've not seen this sold in any outdoor shops in this country. I know you can buy it from Germany and America. I, I actually emailed Steri pen to say, you know, in India, no one had heard of these. In New Zealand, no one had heard of it. So they're missing a trick there. Any questions? Um, if you dechlorinate your water to have it fresh, you can... What do you carry it round in after your drinking bottle? In, you mean if I kill the bacteria? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so you just put it in a normal drink bottle. And how long will that last for till it's all well? Yeah, yeah, so you drank it, that's it, yeah. It doesn't get anything back in. In India, there's a lot of places that have got water filters anyway, in restaurants, cafes. You pay five rupee, which is like a penny, and you can have a refill on your bottle anyway. So there's oh. lots of places that do it. But people just have it in their mind that if they have any water that's not come out of a bottle, they're going to get sick when it's not, it's not the case, not, not in my experience. And they're not in a lot of people's experience. Okay. Any more questions? Oh, I think so. I didn't think we had to stay that long now. Thank you. <laughs>